What happened to Patches? Did he die? Where did he go? Is his questline over? How is he related to Tanith? Now let me start off by saying that we don't know much about these two characters other than they knew each other at some point or that at least Patches remembers her from a faraway land. Patches leather armor which is acquired by killing him says lightweight and battle proven leather armor worn by a savvy soldier. Many admire the wearer of this armor for his chivalrous and forthright spirit. That's literally all of the information we have on him. But if you proceed through his questline, you find out a little bit more about him. So you first encounter him in Murkwater Cave, as you may know. He, as always, ambushes you and tries to kill you in some sort of way. Um, he then tells you to forgive him, as, as per usual in every game he does the same thing. He tells you about how he wants to open up a shop, and uh, as we know, Patches always becomes a storekeeper in all of the other Souls games. He then moves to the Volcano Manor. If you progress through the Volcano Manor's questline by doing Tanith's questline, you actually have to do a hit for Patches. It is a letter to Patches. Now this is my theory, but I don't actually think Patches belongs to the Volcano Manor. I actually think Patches moved here to get closer to Tanith or to keep an eye out on her. And I do believe that he wrote the letter himself or he or they gave him this assignment and uh, he actually didn't want to go through with it because he actually does not want to be a recusant. Tanith's mask reads, Long ago when Rykard first set eyes on Tanith, she was working as a dancer in a foreign land. Soon he made her his consort. She was the only human to remain by his side when he became the Serpent of Blasphemy. In that moment, Tanith was truly charmed by him. This doesn't really tell us anything about what we're trying to understand, but the only thing that confirms is that Patches and Tanith have one thing in common. They both come from a faraway land. Now, if you progress through his questline, Patches actually is surprised that you managed to kill Tragoth. And at the end, he actually moves to the Shaded Castle after you kill Rykard. Here, he gives you the Dancer's Castanets, which belonged to Tanith. Now, if you reset the area, you'll see that Patches actually disappears. He appears to be injured or poisoned since the Shaded Castle is literally surrounded by poison. I do believe that he is poisoned, so yeah. If you reset the area after he gives you the Dancer's Castanets, you'll see that he disappears. He does not actually drop his bell bearing or anything, so that means he's still alive. He's still alive somewhere, and I do believe that his story will be continued in future content, uh, perhaps DLC or an update. At this point, if you go back to Rykar's boss room, you'll find Tanif attempting to devour his head, and if you give her the Dancer's Castanet, she seems very confused as to why you would give her that, and she refuses them. She says that she has no time for it. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this quick video. I just wanted to let you guys know that Patches is definitely not dead. He is probably going to be in future content. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, but yeah, I just wanted to say very quickly that Patches is definitely not dead, um, and he does die in other Souls games, and um, yeah, he never just disappears like that. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.